Good morning, second graders. Hello, how are you doing? Um, things are going fine here at the Oynas house. We are trying to get ourselves set for homeschool. And I wanted to reach out to you to let you know that I am here for you and your families. And I'm gonna be checking in with you every day uh, through a video. So I'm gonna send a video to your parents uh, by nine o'clock every morning and it will review what I want you to do for the day. And it will also have, um, it will also have um, a little review of our, the date. We'll have some prayer time together like we do in Mrs. Hendrickson's class. I'll tell you the schedule and then off you go. So let's try it out. Today is, what is today? Sunday, March 15th, 2020. It's the third Sunday in Lent. And since we can't go to church, I watched mass on my TV for the first time. <laughs> um, not as good as the real thing, um, but it was better than, not, than nothing at all. So let's pray together. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, I pray for our second grade families and for all those who are needing your help and support. I pray that you'll help us do homeschool successfully and that we'll be, we will be patient and kind with each other as we try to figure out this new way to learn. For all these things and the prayers in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Um, now, today's lesson is how to do homeschool. <laughs> so what I've done with Linnea and Sophia is first we've decided when you're going to do school. So with your parents, a little whiteboard, I want you to set a time that you're going to do school. Is it going to be, it's going to take you about two hours. So are you going to do it 9 to 11? Are you going to do it 9, take a recess break, do the second hour after lunch? You know, you need to decide what's going to work best. Also, your parents might be working at home. So you may not, you may only be able to do the paperwork part um, without them. And then when they can help you do the online part. Um, so that's the first thing. Next thing you need to, to figure out in your house, do you have everything you need? And do you need anything from me? So you definitely need pencils and a pencil sharpener and paper. Um, and then you also need that folder I sent home. Okay. Uh, the next thing is when you come to school, review your plan and decide what you're going to, the order you're going to do it. So are you going to start off with um, the hardest thing for you? Are you going to, <laughs> are you going to do your reading first? You have to decide. You might want to write one, two, three, four, five and go through it. And I put little boxes there so you can check them off as you go and know that when you get through the whole list, your school day is, is done. And then either you can do optional things or you can do playtime. You can make, you can do art. If you have an instrument, you can practice your instrument. You can play with your dog. You can do a chore for your family. Okay. Second thing, or no, excuse me. The fourth thing about homeschooling is your parents are not used to being your teachers. And it's really important, number four, that you listen and follow their directions because they're, they're working really hard and this is unusual. Um, the best thing you can do is really try hard to be a good listener and do what your parents are asking because people are, this is new and can be um, stressful to change everything. So you can help, try your best. <laughs> yep, so number five, try your best. Now, you know that we spend a lot of time working on our handwriting, and I, I want you to keep that great handwriting, great effort. You can, eat, um, you can prove it to me, you can take a picture and send it to me. And then, okay, the last thing about homeschool, I wanna know what you've been doing. <laughs> So every Friday, your parents can send me a little email that just says, you know, how the week went and if you completed your work and if you need any help. 
um, and then I can um, know how to help you. <laughs> so I will be available for you to video conference me or email me or give me a phone call on weekdays from 9 to 12. That's when I'm going to be working and your parents are welcome to contact me. Um, and just, we're going to try to be flexible here. So that's about all I have right now. And if you have any more questions, your parents can email me and I look forward to seeing you on the computer. <laughs> all right. God bless you. And I will see you soon online. All right. God bless. Bye.